What's going on, good people? What's going on, good people? Depending on when you're watching this video, this is a Thanksgiving video. Now, you might watch it two nights before, one night before, or on Thanksgiving Day or after Thanksgiving, but this is going to be a preview of the New York Giants versus the New England Patriots, a.k.a. the Battle of the Bums. The Battle of the Bums. But no, no, not really, though. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know what to expect in this game. You know, the New York Giants are not a good team. The New England Patriots are not a good team. There's some draft implications in this game. Um, right now, the New York Giants currently hold the fifth overall pick. Uh, New England Patriots, I believe, own the fourth pick. So, you know, there's some things. We have the same exact record right now as the New England Patriots. So what are you really expecting as a Giants fan or as a Patriots fan? What are you expecting in this game? What are you expecting to see? Now, when you look all the way down the roster on paper, you start to look at the different positions and you start saying, OK, I can lean this way with this guy, this way with that guy. And if right now I'm looking at the defense for both New England and the New York Giants. And the funny thing is, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning in the New York Giants direction. Now, here's a listen. I'm all for the future of the New York Giants, and when that, and you already know what I mean when I'm saying that. I'm all for getting that high draft pick. I'm all for that. And you try to avoid certain situations, and when I say situations, I mean wins at this point. But it doesn't look like either one of these teams is in a hurry to get some victories. I will say this, the New York Giants just came off of a victory. I think we're going to be riding high going into this game. I think that, the the like my man Jefe said, the passing Paisano, Tommy DeVito, you know, they're riding the high. They got some momentum, but we already know what Bill Belichick is. He is a monster, a mastermind when it comes to taking away what you do best. And that old dog has some new tricks still, but what? why would he need to use new tricks when his old tricks seem to be working? Now, I understand his team is struggling right now. He's struggling right now, but what that team can still do is play some decent damn defense, and that's for sure. So I think Bill Belichick is looking at what he needs to do in this game, depending on where he's at mentally. Could he be on a hot seat too? That's another question. Imagine that. Imagine Bill Belichick not the coach for the Patriots. And I'm thinking that the owner might be thinking the same thing because if you guys, since Tom Brady has been gone, have not been able to, to have sustained success, this might be old time for old Bill to ride into the sunset. We'll see what happens. But you know when it comes to Bill Belichick, they'll never fire him. They'll let that man resign unless he's being absolutely stubborn and the team is absolutely horrible, kind of like what they are right now. But let's get back into this game. Let's get back into this game. What do you as New York Giants fans expect to see? Now, we already know that the fan base is split. You can say right down the middle, 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever, 40, 60, it's, it's, it's split. You got some people that are embracing the tank. You have some people that don't want to tank. You got some people that don't realize that, that we don't have to tank on purpose. We're not playing good football. And I said that last week, and then all of a sudden we play the Washington Redskins. I'm sorry, the Washington Commanders. I do apologize. We play the Washington Commanders. And you know what? The defense, lights out, offense, okay. Nothing to write home about, but the passing Paisano, passing Paisan, fresh out of his, his mama's house, threw for three touchdowns, no interceptions, no turnovers. He looked pretty good. He got Saquon Barkley involved in the passing game, which we have been screaming for for the longest. Involved Saquon Barkley in the passing game, and good things will happen. I don't know why it took so long for people to listen, or I don't know why it took so long for the quarterback to get the ball to him, but it finally happened, and look, we're so far gone in the seeds, and I can't even be too happy for it. I'm happy for the players. I will say that I'm happy for the players. I'm happy with what they were able to do last week. But again, this is about the New England Patriots. But I do think if you're trying to win this game, you have to attack them the same way. 
the same way get Saquon Barkley involved. And that doesn't mean just hand them off the ball. We saw it in the first half last week against the Commanders. We could not run the ball to save our lives. To save our lives. At one point in that game, we had 14 points. A whole half had been played and we had zero rushing yards. That is pathetic. But when I think about how pathetic that is, I think about the Washington Commanders and how do you lose to a team with zero rushing yards? It, how? How do you do that? But of course, second half comes along. Barkley breaks off a couple big chunk plays. And I think he ended up with like 70 yards rushing, something like that. But again, he had a fantastic game. Six turnovers. You probably want to score a little bit more points. It shouldn't have been a, as tight as it was at the end, especially if you got six turnovers. Um, but then again, it is the New York Giants. It is Tommy DeVito. And it is 20. 23 but the, the the team absolutely needed that win for their morale again the fan base is split um for me i'm always going to root for a win especially on sundays i can think logically and i can think about the future you know from monday to saturday but once we get on sunday and it's game day i want to see good football i want to see the new york giants win i do i promise you i do i absolutely do but i also understand the big picture so it's a toss-up for me when, it, when i think about this game you know they have a qb competition in new england that was the rumor bill belichick has a qb competition going on the week of the game is it going to be mac jones is it going to be bailey zappy is it going to be whoever that other person is i don't care they don't know who it's going to be maybe they do know who it's going to be they're just keeping it under wraps bill belichick is good at that keeping things under wrap keeping things hidden except for leaking who the giants were hiring as head coach you know two years ago you know he could keep his mouth shut about everything else but that but i digress so i'm curious to see what's going to happen um again the giants if we're trying to stay in that top five as far as draft order we can't win too many games here people we can't we can't afford it we can't afford it and with all the rumors out here about the giants possibly not even thinking about moving on from daniel jones you want to make it as hard as possible, pause, for them to not take a quarterback. And the higher you are in that draft order, um, the harder it is to turn down one of these quarterback um, you know, prospects. Especially with the way John Mara likes to butt in. But I'm just hoping and praying that he gives his GM and his coach free range to do what they need to do. And some of you might not agree with it. Some of you will argue against it, and that's fine. We're New York Giants fans. We have our own opinions. When you come to this place, when you're in, or when you're watching these videos, Big Dash knows when you're in the comment section, I try to treat everybody respectfully. Even when you disagree with what I'm saying, I either ask you for further details of your opinion, I'll give my opinion, and I can respectfully disagree. I can respectfully agree with you guys as well. That's why. This channel is what it is. And with that being said, if you've been listening this long, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Do yourself a favor. You're a New York Giants fan. And where we're at right now, this is New York Giants fans home. Home. That's what it is. That's what I that's what I wanted to feel like for everybody, no matter what they're thinking at the time, no matter what side um, of the of the spectrum that you're on. For Daniel Jones, against Daniel Jones, indifferent, going with the flow, rooting for the wins, you know, wanting wanting to no matter what you're doing, you can discuss that here. It's a safe place. I swear it's a safe place. And if you don't feel that it's safe, Go ahead and hit the comments down below and let me know what's going on. Let me know what's going on. But what do you guys expect? I'm, I'm curious to see because I really think that the New York Giants can win this game. I really believe that. Um, you know, a two. You know, like I said, for me, I'm for getting the highest draft pick and, and you know, taking that quarterback. But when I'm looking at this New England uh, Patriots, they're wounded. They're wounded. And the way that the New York Giants are playing as far as that locker room and that vibe this is one of those games where you want to go into the bye week and you want to go into a bye week with a good feeling. And that may not, that might not, that might not be the best for the future of the New York Giants, but for the team in 2023, 
you know these guys want it they want to win they put in the hard work you know they deserve to make some, you know they deserve to win so um i can't be that mad if the new york giants go in there and pull out a victory i also won't be surprised if bill belichick finally wakes up and his defense wakes up and says you know what that's a undrafted free agent quarterback over there make him look like that and bill belichick can absolutely make tommy devito look like exactly what he is an undrafted free agent living in his mama's house and starting for the new york giants and i like the guy i like the story i'm from jersey to see a jersey kid have some success that's fantastic to me i love the story i love the story but again there's a bigger picture here so that's going to be just my thoughts on the new york giants versus the new england patriots let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know what players you are watching for for me it's going to be the same thing i still believe jordan riley needs a jersey i want to see more trey hawkins i want to see the younger guys develop i want to see more belton i want to see Mike mcfadden continue to grow i want to see Kayvon Thibodeau continue to go on a tear. I want to see 15 sacks at the end of the season. I want to see more than that if he can get there. What I don't want to see is Andrew Thomas. I do not want to see. It's time to shut Andrew Thomas down. I was in the space earlier today. Shout out to my man, Base Ivan. And they were talking, but they, the subject came up of Andrew Thomas and what you want to do with Andrew Thomas. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He was never fully healthy. It's time to shut Andrew Thomas down. You do not want this guy to have to go into next season needing extensive surgery or anything like that. You want him to be rested. You want him ready to go because we don't know what's going to happen this offseason as far as free agency, as far as the draft. And we're going to need all of our horses, all of our horses for that 2024 season. And I would hate for Andrew Thomas to get hurt you know, and uh, more severely than what he is right now because he's absolutely hurt and he should not be playing right now and they should not make him play. Even if he's clear, they should not make him play because I hate I hate using this word, but these are meaningless games. I hate, listen, they're meaningless games. Now, they're not meaningless for the guys on the field for the 53 it's not meaningless to those guys that practice every day. They put in the hard work and they're looking for the results. It, it, it's not meaningless to them, but for the fan base and for the people that are looking towards the future, these games are meaningless because we're so far out of the picture for this year. So that's going to be my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And for one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.